For our top story this morning, it's been a rocky first month for the Aam Aadmi Party and it's about to get worse. In fact, Arvind Kejriwal's latest crisis may well bring down his government in Delhi. And that's because the expelled Aam Aadmi Party MLA Vinod Bedi now claims the support of five MLAs. He's given the government two days to meet his demands. Simultaneously, one of the party's founding members has quit, accusing Kejriwal of demeaning women. Just a month after assuming power in Delhi, the Aam Aadmi Party government could already be running out of numbers and time. Launching an all-out war against Kejriwal, the expelled Aam Aadmi Party leader gave the Delhi government a 48-hour ultimatum. His demands, further slash power and water bills, ensure women's security and immediately begin a probe into the 2010 Commonwealth Games scam. Vinny claimed the support of four legislators, including JDU MLA Shoye Bikbal and the lone independent Rambir Shokin, both present at the press conference. Aam Aadmi Party, which has 27 MLAs after the expulsion of Bini, runs the government with outside support from eight Congress legislators. If five rebel MLAs come together against the rookie party, it will shrink the government to minority in the 70-member assembly. A retired diplomat and an Aam Aadmi Party old-timer claimed she was gagged by Somnath Bharti's shouting brigade when she tried to raise the issue of the rights of the Ugandan women at the party's National Council meet on Friday. She allegedly wanted the party to adopt a resolution condemning the Kirki extension incident. Kejriwal and company do not seem to be losing much sleep over the dissidents.